What is up everyone and welcome back to another day in Sri Lanka. So, I don't quite know the name of the town, but we are currently getting a tuk-tuk fix. And here it is right here. We just had the mechanics and the driver was telling Tyler to like sit down, sit down in the tuk-tuk. I thought he was going to park it up in the mechanics, but then all of a sudden, anyway, all of a sudden he just drove off and um, I think taking it for a quick test drive. But yeah, currently the tuk-tuk is low on fuel, the fuel gauge doesn't work, and when we're going up hills, the clutch, clutch keeps slipping, so it really struggles going up hills. And we've only been driving it for like a week, so yeah, we have those few problems at the moment. But today we are heading towards Siguri, you've probably heard of it, it's the big giant famous rock, and there's an area around it where we can hike up to get a good view of it. So hopefully it's gonna be good weather today to go up and hike that and driving along the way there is going to be some epic roads to see some elephants so let's also hope we'll see some elephants today um, but yeah in the meantime let's see if we can fix our beloved tuk tuk all right so the good thing renting with tuk tuk rental company like if you ever have any issues with the tuk tuk you can just we can just ring them up and get them to sort it out because we don't know if the mechanics at the moment are telling us the truth of what is wrong with the tuk-tuk. Like, it's a sim it should be a simple fix for the fuel gauge and the clutch, but they're telling us like a lot of things need to re be replaced. So hopefully it will be an easy fix, and hopefully the tuk-tuk rental company should be able to sort it out for us. All right, so we kind of just left the mechanics because we didn't really know what was going on. He kept telling us like different things every time. He was like, okay, it's gonna take 15 minutes, and then we come back to him, and he's like, okay, now it's gonna take an hour, and then he said he was going to come back with oil to oil it up and then he never come back with oil and yeah we didn't know what was going on this is usually the deal within Sri Lanka most of the times like you ask someone to do a job and they just disappear and they completely just forget about the job so we're just gonna deal with it in Trincomale I think but in the meantime let's get back to the road baby Yep, and another typical Sri Lankan moment, so we just went to the gas station to try to fuel up, but the worker said no one's working there today, I don't know. We don't know if they're out of gas or they just don't feel like working, so I guess we'll have to fuel up in the next one. I think there's monkeys broken for this tool. Look at this. Oh, look at them. Caught them red handed. <laughs> They've been stealing everything in this tuk tuk. This one stole a water bottle. So we've arrived to Peter Rangala. So this is an area where we can hike up to the top of a big rock, but to get an amazing view of the well-known Lion's Rock. So Lion's Rock is probably the most iconic place throughout Sri Lanka. And I've been informed, because Tal's been here before, he said we have to close up our like, blinds on the tuk-tuk because there's monkeys everywhere around here. And I've been seeing them at the moment. They've been trying to break into this tuk-tuk. So, Last time I was here, they actually broke into my tuk-tuk. And I was telling Brandon, you pretty much have to accept that they will break into our tuk-tuk. <laughs> It's just about hiding all the good stuff. Yeah, like there's monkeys running around with tubs of butter at the moment <laughs> and they've been stealing water bottles out of this one. So they're very, very sneaky. And if you are coming around this area, be sure to lock up your tuk-tuk as good as possible because otherwise those sneaky monkeys will sneak in and steal whatever you have. Oh, everywhere we go, there's so many cute little puppies. Oh, look at that puppy. Just that so many cute puppies. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god! 
the entrance into Peter Angler is 500 rupees, which is pretty reasonable. And because it's a Buddhist temple, which is just up here, you have to at least wear pants that go below your knees, or if you have a sarong, that would be the best option. Um, and you have to at least take off your shoes around this area too, but once we get past the temple, then we're fine to put our shoes back on. Okay, so now we are finally approaching the tip of Peter Angler. And you just gotta <laughs> fight your way and climb over all these rocks. And, oh, wow, look at this view though. Look at this. Look at this, and look at this rock. Squeeze right through. I think gotta crawl through. Worth the hike. Because look at this view. Ooh. Stunning. And that right there is Lion's Rock. But wait, the views do not end there because this is an insanely big rock. You can climb to the other, oh my God, look at this. Other side of it and it is 360 views all around you. better reasons to climb Peter Angler Rock instead of Lion's Rock is because this cost 500 to climb to the top but Lion's Rock cost 5,000 rupees to climb and you actually get a view of Lion's Rock from here so like that's pretty much the main thing to see and you also get everything around. Alright, so we're soaked in the beautiful views and it's getting pretty late now so we're going to have to make our way to the bottom, so I'll see you there. Okay, so we're at the bottom now and time will tell to see if the monkeys got into our tuk-tuk. Yep, they definitely and... got our tuk-tuk. No, it looks right. Yeah, is this not my medicine thing? What? Oh. <laughs> is it? Is that us? I don't no. know. No, it's not. Did we... Oh yeah? I think it's alright. We might be okay. We're good, we're good. <laughs> It seems like the tuk-tuk is untouched from the monkeys, so we protected it well. All right, scratch that. It looks like monkeys actually did get into our tuk-tuk. That's how sly and sneaky they are. Like, it didn't look like they got in, but they stole some of my chocolate. They stole some of Tal's bakery food, and there's a possibility they could have stolen his antibiotics. <laughs> but that is how sneaky they'll be. Okay, so we have just arrived to our accommodation for tonight. Um, so we're staying in a town called Habanara, and this is dead set. We just organized this accommodation last minute. Damn boy <laughs> This is the best accommodation we all have organized last minute. It is a three bed. Check out the bathroom. Come here. Check out the bathroom. It's a three bedroom bed and We got like a really long hallway for some reason and then this is the bathroom. We have an insanely big bathroom <laughs> Bam Bam <laughs> and apparently this person here comes with the accommodation. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you come into the bathroom after 12, you'll get a surprise. <laughs> you'll see him there. Uh, but yeah, today has been a pretty cruisy day um, and tomorrow we'll be doing some more safaris. So be sure to watch tomorrow's video. 
Don't forget <laughs> well, the to escape mentions. the comfort zone while you have a great time. And I will see you guys <laughs> and next Friday. Because every Friday at 3 p.m., you know what we do? We escape the comfort zone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Follow your dreams and escape your comfort zone. Bye.